Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this on Facebook. Oh, I asked them for a picture. They wanted to draw a bridge for a child's logo, logo, Lego train. And the only thing he said about 12 inches long. And I just, I mentioned that it was so easy to draw. I drew this in about five minutes. Um, so let's just start out how I would draw it. He said 12 inches, so I'm going to make it 12 inches by, let's make it three inches tall. And let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And on his bridge, he had a little bit of a slope to the top, so we're going to convert it to a curve. We're going to see what our nudge distance is. Our nudge distance is, let's say, two inches this time. Let's go and grab that node and nudge it over two inches. Grab that node and nudge it over two inches. There you have the shape of the bridge. Go to effects, contour, contour the inside a quarter of an inch will work. Now you got the shape of the bridge. Break contour apart. Now, because we're working in the center of the page, we're gonna make parts of the bridge an eighth of an inch wide. So 0.125, and we're gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now we can measure what this distance is from here to here, and it is 3.8 inches. So if we make a duplicate and nudge it over 1.9, Control D and make a duplicate and nudge it over and then do another one. We got three duplicate, nudge it over, control D, duplicate. Now, this is where you can, your artistic ability will come into play or not. Let's just take one of these, control D and make a duplicate and let's uh, rotate it 45 degrees. And let's put it like, let's just make an easy bridge. So put it like that. We've still got our nudge distance, so let's go and then let's mirror it the other way. And uh, let's put this one on the outside, one, two. And then we'll uh, control D and make a duplicate and move that over and mirror it the other way. Control D and make a duplicate, move it over and mirror it the other way. So now we've kind of got a box Let's move our outer shape out of the way and let's try to weld this. Didn't work. So let's try this. Let's try back minus front. There we go. Now, before I would have done that, I would have probably taken off these little bitty pieces or made it longer because uh, you wouldn't want that. And that could be fixed even now. So let's uh, look at these nodes. And even though it'd probably be easier just to go back, you could just delete that and delete that node because you're just making it somewhat straight. I actually hit the wrong node, evidently, or there were two nodes there. Let's delete that node and then that node. We're actually, that doesn't look too good. We're coming in at an angle, but that's part of the reason that's kind of how I drew it. So uh, when you when you draw yours, just take a little bit more time. And um, even still, that could be fixed. But I'm trying not to take too much time with the video. And on this one, we could right click and turn it into a line. It'll put it back. And the same thing here, even though it's gonna be a little bit funny of a line. But you get the idea. So we've got that part of the bridge. And I would always, um, smart feel this just to um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real one more time and we'll be done but you, and you, if you do yours just take a little bit more time make sure your accesses are good now I'm going to smart feel this and the reason I'm going to do that because it locks everything it joins all the things I've done if I've done anything left click right click and put our bridge back and that's what your bridge is going to look like of course you can change it at any time now we need to figure out a way to, uh, let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And this is some of the main reasons I draw in the center of the page, and you'll see why in just a second. 
let's draw a rectangle now that is 1.25 inches wide, which this is going to, no, 0.125. That's going to be the thickness of an eighth inch plywood by a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Hit P, put it at the center of the page. Now I'm just going to, holding down the control button, I'm going to bring that down. Now there's really not enough room. I'm afraid this would break. So we can change the thickness of this. Let's see what our nudge factor is. Let's set our nudge factor on 0.25. And let's nudge. That's going to change the angle, but we can fix it. Let's nudge that down. Let's nudge that down and then nudge it over so we get our angle back. Now we've got a half inch to play with. Now if we set this new shape on the very bottom or close to the bottom, it doesn't have to be exact. Let's set our nudge factor on 0.25. I don't really like that. Let's do this. This would be the most correct way you could do it. Put a line on there, nudge it up 0.125, and that's in the center. Because you, I could have put the box in the center, but let's just, well, really, I want to do, I want to hit the center of the page so we're in the center, and then bring that down until it snaps to the edge. Then we can get rid of that line. Now, Control D, and just move it over a couple of times until it's about where you want it. Let's say one more click, and it'll be pretty much right in the middle of that. So we're not, you know, everything doesn't have to be perfect, so we're going to control D and just move this new one over. And you could do this with exact measurements, but uh, as long as they're the same, and they are. Now you've got that bridge done, but to make it a little better, I'm going to smart fill it. What smart filling do, does is it makes those parts uh, secure, so I can't move those apart. They're all one piece now. We're almost done. You're going to need two copies of that. Now you just make your bridge bottom. Let's see how long this is. It is, now it is 12.5 inches long because we did that. So let's make a rectangle that's 12.5 inches long by two inches. And this is where, instead of giving somebody the file, they can make their own file the size they want. And if we have snap to, snap to on, it'll snap right to it. A lot of times you have to go away and come back. Now we're there. What I would do is make a duplicate of this because we're going to use it. We're going to destroy it to make our tabs on our the foot part of the bridge. And now we're going to hold down the control button and bring this up to that line. Now what I want to do is take away all these excess lines that are in here. We want a square bridge. And I'm going to have to click off of it to zoom in. Now we're going to use the Smart Fill tool. Fill it in. Let's nudge that out of the way. We've messed this one up, so we're just going to delete it. We don't need any more. Hit P, put it in the center of the page, which doesn't really matter in this case. Come on, Zoom tool. All right, now we're going to left click, right click, and see our tabs. Control D and make a duplicate and flip it over. Then you just need to have it snap to that corner. And there's probably several ways you could weld this, but this is so easy just with the virtual segment delete key. And we're almost there. There is your foot part of your bridge. Now, this is the tabs are not as important as they would be on a box. Because you're gonna evidently glue this together anyway. So then just make two duplicates of this. And there's your bridge. Drawing that fast. And you could change this up. And then if you want to put feet on it. I just, I played around with the feet on this. I, I don't really like that, but it's got a flat bottom. And just depending on how tall you want to make it off, 
you can you can take it from there just by adding feet. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.